Yo, what's up YouTube? This is your boy Oscar Ntege again with yet another amazing tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to edit men. Yes, we are going to learn how to edit men. You may be wondering whether there is a big difference between the way somebody is supposed to be retouching faces of men and those and the way in a way somebody is supposed to be retouching faces of women. Yes the difference is really 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 there those people who are familiar with the frequency separation they tend to edit men the same way they edit women on this particular tutorial we are going to be editing this fine gentleman his name is uh, Hussein a very good talented music producer that has made a lot of hits throughout Africa and uh, He's, he goes under the brand called Fresh, very, very talented, very, very talented young man. So without further ado, we are going to dive into this particular video. So let us get into this. Or oh, without further ado, we are going to dive into this particular tutorial. We are going to use frequency separation, but it is going to be a bit different from the kind of frequency separation you've been doing for when editing feminine faces so we just come and duplicate this layer twice uh, guys if you don't know what frequency separation is all about feel free to click on that link up there so that you get to see to understand how frequency separation works and how this whole thing works so we duplicate this layer twice and then we are going to come at filter Black. this is where you have to be very 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 attentive this is the step where most people mess up when they are editing men you come and say Gaussian black now for men the, the, the amount of black here is a very very big determinant on how the skin is going to look like in the final piece so if you're editing women normally this black the less the more smoother the skin is going to be the further you take it yeah the more texture you're going to to retain so let, let me say this again when using frequency separation the less the black here the less texture you will retain and the more the black the more texture you're going to retain so when you're retouching men we usually want to retain a lot of texture on the skin so what do we do we look out for a particular spot on his face that kind of texture we are interested in mostly you know i think i love the texture around this particular area you know so i'll just come and blur this out I blur it out now this if I left it like this definitely uh, this would be overly smooth because I would have blurred out just a little less just remember put this in your head write this somewhere the more you blur out in this particular Gaussian blur the more texture you retain and the less you blur out the less texture you retain i don't know whether it is making sense so you come since we are editing a man we are going to take this slightly a bit overboard like like at a nine to almost that level where you cannot even recognize any textures on the skin because we only want to put the tones right we don't want to tamper a lot with the texture so we shall keep it at nine depending on the size of your image and the kind of uh, camera you use and the number of megapixels your camera has it will determine how much you blur out here but you blur it out in such a way that you cannot see the texture of his skin any more so the next thing you're going to do we're going to come on the texture layer up here we say image you say apply image so we are going to subtract the texture of this layer so you make sure here you come on this and look for the background copy you come and change the blending mode to subtract 
leave the opacity at 100, scale at 2, and this at 128. I fully explained this in that frequency separation tutorial. Make sure you watch it so that you get a proper understanding of all this particular thing. Then you say, OK. Then you say, linear light, just like that. So the next thing we are going to do, we are just going to begin now blurring out what we don't want blurring out the skin tones and making them perfect now this is another part where you have to be really 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 attentive now you can make sure the feather is at 18 depending really on the size of your image it can go like up to even 35 you come and make a selection you come here filter blur you say Gaussian blur let's take it to zero again so you come and just blur it out slightly don't, don't take it overboard now that is where most people go get it wrong they take it overboard in the way that it turns out to be flat that is not what we want and because we still want to have those particular contours within so look at this part here See, see how uneven this i don't know whether you're able to see it on this on the screen but see how uneven it is just come and blur it out here and now that is a little too much when you feel it's too much you bring it back slightly just like that and you say okay because remember we are editing a man you're not editing a woman and and when you're doing this make sure you select particular portions of light now we are just pressing ctrl f on our keyboard to repeat the action just like that just like that same just like that basically for a guy you don't have to do this everywhere because you you want to retain that masculine feel uh, i'm not talking about uh, men that hollywood is trying to sell to us you know the men that look like women i'm talking about real men yeah men that you can look at and say yes this guy is a man you know the early 90s men that is the kind of man i'm talking about of course if you're retouching the current the current man hollywood is is trying to sell to the world the man that looks like a woman uh you would definitely go use the other techniques of editing ladies but if you're editing like men like a ceo or somebody that has a masculine feel to to them it is just removing these minor minor things and then guys i'm done almost with this so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to burn and dodge him so that i create more depth and dimension in the face because for a man you want to get more of the chisels and all those you know lines emphasized for ladies you want the curves more emphasized so we're going to do some burning and dodging if you want the full tutorial on my burning and dodging just click on the link up there you get a detailed tutorial on how i burn and dodge for now i'm going to go through this very fast i burn using curves what i do i just pull this down just a little bit then say oops sorry just say I rename this bun I invert it then I come to steel curves I up put this up come to layers I rename this as doge I invert this by pressing ctrl I I'll put this in a group so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my brush tool and then reduce opacity here and flow and then I'll burn paint over with white 
in this particular part. For those of you who want to see my full tutorial on burning and dodging, click the link up there. And I also put a link in the description of that particular video of burning and dodging and where to burn and where to dodge. Basically, in brief, burning is emphasizing the shadow areas and dodging is emphasizing the highlight areas that is what it is all about so i go on burning building it slowly by slowly because remember for a guy we are just chiseling him we are giving him that particular kind of masculine look to his face our goal is not to smooth him out our goal is to chisel him so that he has that james bond's mark you know that is why from the very beginning i told you we are not after selling the the image of a man that hollywood is selling to us currently we are selling the image of a man man the real man so i'm now dodging let me see the before and after before and after before so we are chiseling him so now the next thing we are going to do we're just going to do some coloring so the kind of coloring we are going to do is uh oh god forgive the sound the sound is i don't know how it sounds whether you guys are able to hear me out i'm doing this at the balcony of uh where i stay and it is a bit noisy because we are in quarantine but hope you guys get the content but the next thing we'll do is uh we're going to come here right here going to gradient map uh, i have a full tutorial on skin color grading you also find the link in the description or just up there then you come and work on the shadows first you just come on this kind of uh, cyan zone then we get down here the next thing we go is highlights i love working in the red channel right there i come here and do that is okay so we come and just reduce the opacity here a little bit see just like that and then we come turn this blending mode to color the next thing you're going to do is just uh, we go into selective color we pump up the sun a little bit then pull out the magenta just slightly then uh, the next thing we do i only work on the skin tones in that particular stone then we come to layers right there and then we just crush rather levels i have a full tutorial on this particular color grading and then you come back here so the next thing we're going to do is uh, one of my favorites calves you just come and pull this down a little bit and pull this slightly up and then you come here over the shadows the blues just pull these a bit down just a little bit and then pull this a bit up so the next thing we are going to do we are going to put this in a group just like that and uh, just reduce the opacity a bit because we still want to maintain that particular color so we shall just name this coloring so that we know that this is the coloring so that's the before and that is the after so the next thing we are going to do we are going to do what they call recontouring i do this for almost every guy i edit to bring back those particular lines and contours so we're going to do a screenshot you press ctrl alt shift e and then uh, you create you do that to create a screenshot of all the effects that are just below here so the next thing we, we we're going to do we're going to duplicate this upper layer this one here twice so we're going to rename this uh, contours 
contours to be deleted because we are going to delete this after and then we are going to name this real contours so what do how do we do this you come to this layer this particular layer you come to filter say surface blur this time we are going to first of all reset all of this so you come and bring the radius to up to around 60 60 I found uh, 60 works really the best just around there then you come and also move the threshold just slightly up when you take it overboard it will all come blurry so you push the threshold in such a way that you still to a level that you still see the edges of uh, the image without you losing out on the edges of the image just like that because these edges that you see that are being retained are the contours that are going to come back so i feel a 10 would be really really nice let us zoom in and see you see how we still have the edges but still we have uh, you know all those particular bits blurred out so just put it in 60 and by 10 here the threshold has to be done like i repeat in such a way that you still see the edges the radius keep this at 60 and then you say okay so depending on how fast your computer is this will really really take a lot of ram it is a heavy filter now the next thing you're going to do you are going to come here to this particular upper layer you say image apply then you come and say contour to be deleted and then you make sure the rest is subtract 100 2 and then you say okay you say linear light now the next thing you do is come here and just reduce the opacity of this and that is what you have see how it is now let us see that's the before and after before and after you have brought back all the contours and depressions here he had in his face now that is how they edit a man thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in my next video if you've not yet subscribed to this channel take a moment subscribe to this channel and then give this video a thumbs up i would love to hear what you think i'll see you next time and adios